talk about pace last night against the Lakers for those who understand the number was 108 that was their pace it's about five points higher than normal as Terrence Mann little razzle dazzle knocks down the mid range the middle of the floor suddenly behind the back gets himself a wide open look and knocks it down Seven to three. Well, I remember a week ago they got two of those against the Clippers. They were ready for that one. Paul George is ready to finish it in transition. And a timeout for San Antonio. Bit of a line change here for Greg Popovich. Doug McDermott wins off to Blake Wesley playing in just his fifth game. Johnson loses the ball. Love larceny. Kawhi Leonard the other way. A graceful glide into the rim. You see Kawhi. Coming from behind, and then he goes coast to coast with the finish. Ty Lue has no hesitancy about putting Reggie in to handle the pressure. Reggie drives down the lane, gets to the rim, and lays it in. A whistle. Reggie is down. Two timeouts to come back. Well, another steal that time in transition. Jackson takes it to the house. It's blocked by Johnson. They will count the basket. So how about five quick ones for Reggie Jackson? Take the ball and push it and go to the other end. He falls, gets up, hand in the pass, and they watch him turn. That's one of the areas they look for him to improve is a perimeter game. And sometimes we see the bucket by Kawhi, the foul a chance for another three-point play. Watch Kawhi go right around and then take on the next defender with his body, protect it. Number one point of emphasis for Ty Lue defensively tonight against the Spurs. Late in the clock, Kawhi going to have to bail him out. Pump fake, pulls the trigger ahead of the horn, it is gone. Count the bucket for Kawhi. 41 first quarter points for the Clippers. Time is running down. you got to get a shot up. I've got to get it out of my hands. Well, with one-tenth of a second remaining, Kawhi Leonard knocks it down. Back to 13 One team you don't want to let them hang around. Nice seal that time on the inside. Beautiful block shot by Covington from behind. A nice drive inside by Keldon Johnson. It's a rib contusion for Mook, but expected to not be sidelined too long. Jackson counted on a foul. Reggie Jackson knocks it down. He's got seven off the bench. The floater. What Reggie? Take the contact there. Step back. Create space. Knock it down. I guess that his minute restriction, if there is one, is around 24 minutes. Leonard Domelain, a whistle, a foul, count it, and send that young man to the line. Feels better and better. Big man is there, so he elevates, uses a little one hand. I can't call that a hook. Can't call it a layup. Can't call it a jump shot. And we talked about the ABA days when he was coaching the Kentucky Spurs. We see PG stick the arm in, the steal, and the emphasis at the end. Who knew he was Dutch? The windmill by George. That's the interception, the steal, off to the races. A little showtime right here for Paul George. I uh, remember those days. You remember those days. That face has jumped with desert. George to the rim, whistle, count the basket and send him to the line for the old-fashioned three-point play. The foul out there, and they're giving him the continu continuation, so a very generous whistle. I agree. That's from, like, 1987. I don't mind the continuation. The Clippers are shooting 63%. George once again spins away from his defender. Back to Zoo. Look out below! Rattles the street lamps out on Figueroa. He beats the Zubox, puts the Clippers out in front, 93-64. to George gets a bone-crushing screen set by Zoo. Rewards the big fella for the flush. Watch this screen. Boom. Jones felt that one. Oh, correct him. PG now with 28. The biggest thing I like right there, coming out of that timeout to start the fourth quarter, the energy. Covington with the steal. Powell is alone in the corner for three. It's good. 92 start for the Clippers here in the fourth. Oh, Reggie inside leaves it in. It's an 11 to 2 run to open up the frame, and the Clippers have their largest lead of the game 115 to 83. Offensive rebound of the Clippers reload. Covington from the wing. Spoon feeds the Abate for the flush. And the third headline that's almost as important as the other two, and that is the Clippers ran through the tape. Had a big lead. The lead is ballooned as Boston kicks it to the cup. 
a two-handed hammer. Thanks a lot. Um, Paul, you guys put up 138 points against the Spurs team tonight. 58% shooting from the field. The offense has continued to impress and improve. What has allowed you guys to get into this rhythm? Uh, I think our ability just to share the ball, play uh, together, that's really what it comes down to. I think, um, you know, we worked out all the little kinks um, and found the recipe. And uh, the recipe is everybody touches it. Our offense is 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 going to play uh, at a high level. Um, we got enough talent offensively. We got a lot of playmakers, a lot of scores um, that can put the ball in a basket. We just got to, you know, understand um, that we don't got to force anything and uh, pretty much just let the ball dictate who, sh who shoots the ball. Everybody getting in on the offense. But after the game on Tuesday, when you guys were able to hold off the Lakers and get the win, you said that you saw growth. Tonight, you guys had that dominant first half, and then you never let San Antonio get back in this game. Is that another level of growth for this team? Yeah, uh, absolutely. Um, our first quarters uh, statistically haven't been our best. Um, in terms of putting it together on both ends. And our third quarters have been slow, um, where we've kind of eased, eased back into the half. I thought we did a great job uh, the first and the third. Um, we had an approach to put this team away and put them away early. And, um, you know, we, we just, regardless of who came in, um, you know, we, we continue to just play our style and, uh, you know, we we're able to increase the lead season-long four-game win streak for this team, which is great to see, especially because we're heading out on the road now for six games, that Grammy trip. How do you guys carry this momentum over? Again, just one game at a time. Um, I think we're dialing into the game plan. We're trusting the game plan. We're trusting the process. We're trusting each other. And um, again, it just comes down to taking it one, one game at a time. Uh, we'll get to where we need to get to. Uh, but I think we're watching film and we're making the corrections on a nightly basis. So uh, it's, it's showing up. And um, it's the reason why we're on a four-game win, uh, win streak right now. Fun one tonight. Thanks, PG. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, guys. 35 for Paul George on 19 shots and a little flair to go with it. Clippers are winners tonight in downtown Los Angeles.